Hi you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Henriette and today I will be doing an uh, unboxing first impression because I bought some things of Le Mini Macaroon and it's um, a gel polish kit to use at home. So let's see what's inside. So first off we have the start kit where you get the LED or UV lamp, I don't know what it is. Um, and I got the, the one in called Sweet Mint and there's a gel polish inside also. So it's the start kit, you get everything you need. Then I bought um, two different colors and this one is in pink champagne and the other one is in midnight blueberry and I bought a top coat to seal it all off with and the whole thing came uh, with an instruction so I know exactly how to use it all. Let's start with this one because there's not uh, much to say about the gel polishes, the, it is what it is. So this one is the starter kit and you get the LED lamp, look like this, a little macaroon. And you should uh, use this for both your fingers and your toes. And the gel pot, and you get a USB cable uh, which can go uh, in your computer or a normal output. And the last thing you get in the starter kit is um, a cuticle pusher, um, a file, and you get a lot of uh, gel polish remover. So the mini macaroons comes in uh, eight different shades. Um, I chose the sweet mint, and therefore I got the gel polish in sweet mint, mint as well. So you can choose um, from the eight different colors which one you like the most. So let's fire it up and see how it goes. Then you take the cuticle stick and push down your cuticle. Then you take the file and careful uh, file the top of your nail and the nail shape. Be careful with this. The reason why you should file on your nails on top of your nails is because uh, it leaves a rough texture to your nails and therefore the gel polish can stick better to your nails. But be careful, it's very rough this file um, and you don't want to uh, make some damage on your nails, so be careful. When you're done filing, you have to wash your hands to get the uh, excess dust off so that the gel polish can stick better. And I will use the Sweet Mint gel polish today and show you how it looks. And then you have to dry out the sides of the brush very well. And I'm gonna do the first coat. I'm gonna seal off the ends. And 
first. I forgot to show you how it works when you want to do your toenails. You just simply peel off the top a lid and boom, it's ready for your toes. And you just slide in your toes and press the button and voila. But for your fingers, it's the other way so you can put your fingers in. So I'm going to do the second coat. And that is not good, so I'm going to remove the gel from my skin, like that. And once again, I'm going to seal off the ends. I'm not sure if I only supposed to have two layers of the gel polish, but I think I'm going to give it a third one, just because I'm not quite impressed with the um, color. Thickness, kind, it's I can see a bit through. So, the third layer, and hopefully, I'm done. So, I'm almost done missing a fingers but um, yeah uh, I'm pretty excited about this and um, so far so good I love the mini macaroon um, LED lamp and um, the gel polish uh, is okay um, I think I would be glad if I only have to do two coats of gel polish um, but um, yeah I have to do a third one to get a nice even color um, but yeah overall um, I think it's a very good idea and product and that I can use um, gel polishes at home normally I work with CD's shellac so yeah, I'm glad about that. The reason why you do one finger at a time is because of um, the gel and al allergic reactions. Uh, the gel in its uh, liquid form is a bit dangerous to, to us and our health. So therefore they use uh, made it so you only have to do one finger at a time so you don't have to deal with the liquid form uh, too long so overall i like this product i'm impressed and yeah the links will be down below um, so you can go and get your own mini macaroon um, but yeah it's easy it's fun it's uh, yeah plug and play so thanks for watching don't forget to like this video if you want to see more of these first impressions video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get all the new videos coming up and until we see you next time bye the video i will be telling you guys about some netflix series that i have been enjoying uh, and I'm waiting for the next